Okay, well, welcome everyone. We are gonna we are recording this broadcast. For, there's a couple people, one person at James Kennedy that wants to see part of this dissection. So we this is actually a live broadcast on YouTube, so we'll see how this goes. Um, so this is our salmon dissection workshop, okay? So we're gonna be going through step by step what we need to do for um, dissecting a salmon, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask you to put the salmon in, in, the, um, in the middle of the three, okay? So it should be on the desk in the middle of the three. If you haven't done that, do that now. Okay. Now, listening, please. Three, two, one, and zero. Okay, so we have nice music coming from my computer right now. So that's the Kahoot music. So we have nice music, that musical background. So what we're gonna do right now is we have all the parts. There are some parts that we chose not to get, like we didn't need ice cream buckets. But as you can see from the, the sheets that I gave you adults, we have all the materials. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna look at the external anatomy and we're gonna identify the different parts of the salmon. So for everyone on the table, let's see if you can try to identify the nostrils, the exact place of the nostrils, okay? And I'd like you to go through as a group to identify all the different other parts. Okay? Probably feel 
a little bit of bump. We bump. Caudal fin, we have the anal fin, we have the vent. So for some of you, you may actually be able to predict whether you have a boy or a girl. Because if there's milk coming out, there is a chance that you probably have a boy. Okay? The pelvic fin and the pectoral fin. And we have the upper column. Okay? Now this is really interesting. And I'm gonna wait till everyone's quiet. Three, two, one. And zero. So waiting for a couple people. Now, when you gently, and I'll emphasize, gently put your finger in the upper column, you'll actually feel the gills. Okay? Now this is the lungs. This is what we use. We have this one. And so you can actually feel it. Okay? Okay. Okay, down this stage. Five, four, three, two, one. Waiting for Michelle. Waiting for a couple people. One and zero. Okay, so I need everyone listening. If you're choosing to listen, you're just or choosing, choosing. If you're choosing not to listen, you're just telling me you need a break, right? If you need a break, that is totally fine. And you can just go in the hallway for a bit, okay? But I need you listening. So, sanitizers, I need you listening. Thank you. Okay, so, um, adults, if you move to the first, the, the back side of the first page, we have some information about the fins. So salmon have eight fins including the tail. They are made up of a fan of bone-like spines with a thin skin stretched between them. The fins are embedded in the salmon's muscles, not muscle not linked to other bones, as limbs are in people. This gives them a great deal of flexibility and the Okay? Uh, put up your hand if you are the coach. Okay, so adults are going to pass off your sheet to the kid that has their hand up. And they are going, and there might be two of you. Okay, so we'll get, get you another one. Uh, George. Oh, there you go. Woo! Okay, great. Okay, and you are going to read the rest of the fins, the slime, and then you're going to stop there. Okay, so coach, coach. Okay. Okay, I'm going to move this up so everyone knows. 
Which, what's the answer? What's the answer? My answer is what's the tenth person? Okay, in this section we have one more question. Here we go. I'm waiting for a quiet class. Waiting for a quiet class. Here we go. Okay, Ooh, good. The body. Each salmon has a slime coat. Uh, it, the slime helps what? Slip away from predators such as bears? One and listening are really important. Okay, so there's going to be there's going to be I think there's about twenty questions, so you guys got to pay attention. Okay, here we go. Scales. So now what we're going to do is we're going to remove a scale by scraping backwards with a knife. Look at the scale with a magnifying lens. Now we don't have a magnifying lens. So what I do, some Fish have the same number So um, we don't need any iPads right now. 
So make sure you get the iPads away. like a Christmas tree. This gives the greatest possible surface area to absorb oxygen from the surface of the water. Gills are red because they are filled with blood. Oxygen in the water passes into the blood and is carried through their body. Gills are more efficient than lungs. Lungs at extracting oxygen. Remove the gills on one side of the salmon. Cut through the bone at the top where the gills are joined to the head. Then it says cut through the bone at the bottom where the gills are joined to the head, and then you lift back of the gills and cut from into the skin. You will eventually have, each pair of gills has, has four arches. I'll repeat that again, four arches. Each with a row of gill rakers. These rakes prevent food from entering the gill and instead guide it into the throat. Okay, so what we are going to do now is we are going to pull this back. Now you will see the you will see the gills right here. The adult is going to the adult is going to take the knife and is going to be cutting out the gills and the four arches. Okay, so everyone can do that now. Okay. I will come to you guys shortly. Okay. okay, so for those that don't know what to do, I'm just going to show you. We are going to cut. Okay. And then we are going to have the gills here. No, we want to be scientists here. Oh, 
It's amazing how, and put up your hand if you did the, um, who did cardiovascular or respiratory? Who did respiratory for their studies? Okay, so those people who did respiratory for their um, studies, for their um, or K, you can see how very similar uh, lung is to what the gills are, okay? So, tech people, put up your hand. Your next question is coming. Now make sure you're, you're um, asking the rest of your group, okay? Here we go. What does the number of rings of salmon scales tell us? Okay. Okay, and Parker, did you guys add yourself? Good. Okay, anyone else? Anyone? I think we might be missing one. Yay! Yay! into um, the vent to find out a little bit about whether they will eventually be a boy or girl. So this is the point. I'm going to wait till everyone's quiet. Still waiting. Still waiting. Now just before we go, I would like you to turn to a neighbor and predict. Do you have a boy or do you have a girl? Girl. girl. Oh, boy. 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 Okay, and five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Okay, and everyone should be silent. Still waiting for sanitizers. Sanitizers, you need to sit down. Okay? The adult is cutting. Okay, we're not, children are not cutting, students aren't cutting, okay? So, the adult will be then uh, cutting all the way down the bottom, okay? And I'm just going to show you, it, you're going to have to be very gentle because, of course, we have the internal organs. Now, another thing you can do too, which might help, I think that's scissors. <laughs> If who's ever talking, if you're choosing to talk, you're telling me you just need a break, okay? And that's fine. It's just what happens is it's just it delays what we want to get through, okay? Um, so it's easier with a pair of scissors, but you can use a knife, okay? But you're going to be very gentle. We have the um, we have all the different organs, including um, this one bladder. Uh, well, it's more up here. But if you're too forceful, things can pop and things may not end up the way they should be. So I'm just going to use a pair of scissors here, and these are just kitchen scissors. We have a few of them lying around here, which actually might help uh, for those people. And we're going to open up. I'm going to predict this one is a female. Put up your hand if you think it's a female. Yeah. Put up your hand if you think it's a male. Can I have a drum roll, please? Okay. So it's a male. Yes. Yes. Okay, so, and the reason why I know it's a male is because it does not have any eggs, it has these two sacs, and these two sacs are milt. Okay, so when you open it up, you'll see eggs, like as if you're in a sushi restaurant, or you'll see milk. So I have a boy. Okay,
And what happened is their bl air bladder, and you can see that right here, is still full of air. And that's why you have to be very careful when you're using a knife or scissors that you're not puncturing, because we're going to use that air bladder to have it float in a container. So we want to make sure we're just gentle with that, okay? how to do this. You're going to just put your finger underneath the milt and you're just going to pull very gently. Um, you might have to tug it a little bit but eventually it'll come off. And then adults you might want to go do the top part and you're going to pull out the milt. Okay? And then the caregiver is going to put it up on the plate. You can see it is pouring right outside. So we are going to have an inside reset. You're going to put it on your plate. You're going to circle it and put milt, M-I-L-T. Okay? 
Congratulations. almost time for recess time. So what you're going to do, and we do have quite a few gloves, but if you'd like to reuse these, it depends how dirty you are, um, you can take these and just place them gently on, I'm gonna reuse these because they're not that damaged, uh, place them on your, shh, who's ever talking, you stop talking. Uh, place them on your um, newspaper, okay? Now I can't remember if the next question was about a meal or if you might, I can't remember, but. Um, eggs, milk. I'm pretty sure it was. So we're gonna see. <laughs> so, tech person, before we leave, we are gonna go to the next question. Oh, we got the gills. Gills question. Okay. How many arches does each gill have? Good job. Okay, and let's do one more. Okay. So you're going to predict this one. The coho spawns only 2,000 to 20, well, 2,500 eggs. How many will come back to spawn? So this is a prediction question. 375, 30, 45, or 2? Okay. So stop there. That was awesome. Okay. Okay, listening please. Now, we have everything set up right now. Um, those people who are the technicians, put up your hand. Make sure please that your iPad is at least at 60%. If it's like at around 10, you would have to um, charge it during recess time. I think everyone's okay, but please check. I'm gonna wait till everyone's quiet. Okay, um, I am on recess supervision today, so for those people who would like to just sit in the hallway, quietly read or draw, I am going to be walking down the hallway, and I'll give you permission to do that because I'm on supervision today. Um, other than that, please go find a different area other than our dissection area to read, color, draw. Logan P., I'm still talking. I'm still talking. Um, please find another area to quiet. Don't move. I'm going to wait until everyone's sitting down because I'm going to look for rows and groups that are sitting. Okay. Adults should have the knives, so keep them safe, please. We may not need the, the knives too much until we get to the brain, but um, everyone should have something, something quiet to do. Adults, you can be loud if you want. It's up to you. <laughs> okay, so... If you are in Chinook or Salmon Cart, put up your hand. Okay, you may quietly go get your snack now. Thank you. Uh, put up your hand if you're turtles or salmon sur surgeons. Okay, you guys are going to stand up, walk behind me. Walk behind me. Okay. Um, iPads for now. Yeah, just look them in your desk just so they don't get. Drop the little bit side or on the chair. Okay, and uh, let's see here. Group awesome animal dissectors. You can quietly go get your snack. Okay. Go. And put up your hand if you are three of the little fries. You may quietly go. Okay. 
And thank you so much for being part of our salmon dissection today. This is a grade four class. We've just done the first part, and um, we hope that you enjoyed the first part of our salmon dissection. To learn more about um, salmon, salmon is in the classroom, please go to www.salmoninsintheclassroom, S A L O, sorry, S A L M O N I D S, in the classroom.com, and you'll get to learn more. Thanks so much, and thanks for joining.